What is up YouTube and welcome to this very, very special Gotham video here. So if you are new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like before you leave and also subscribing with notifications on. We cover all things Gotham, all things DC, all things Marvel, all things, well, everything, pretty much everything to do with comics. I was going to Deadpool, do a Deadpool 2 trailer, but I just wanted to talk about this a bit more and I've got a Krypton video coming up very soon as well. So the behind the scenes images of pretty much Gotham's Joker have been revealed and it's really, really curious here the fact that they have allowed these to be shown so early. Will be it with the nature of these shows being filmed in public we will always have these things shown. And really, we knew already that the Joker was coming to Gotham. And the Joker is arguably one of the biggest characters in comics. Personally, I think he transcends the hype of hero or villain. He is simply as big to me as Batman or Superman, Spider-Man. That's how big this character is. He is his own mythology. And the fact that they are adding him to Gotham is very, very cool. And it needs to be done in a very, very well done manner. Because the fact that, well, we're getting this character come to the show, he has got over 75 years of baggage. It, the, the whole idea of the Joker, he's had many different forms. Many people have their favourite Jokers, they have their favourite cinematic Jokers. They have the favourite Joker stories. To me, my favourite Joker story is, of course, The Killing Joke. It is one of the greatest parts of the Joker's history and shows how he really does actually work. Now, I did actually kind of like the New 52 version of The Joker. I really did like that kind of style. That was really, really cool. And that's pretty much what Jerome has been more or less styled himself on we've had the killing joke style with the bruce wayne in the kind of circus that kind of iconic thing there with the mirrors we've also as well had the new 52 version where his face has actually been stapled back onto himself by himself so we've had many iconic versions of the joker but we've never had the joker now they have pretty much 100% stated that Jerome is not actually the Joker. Yes, Jerome is not the Joker. That is not saying that Cameron Monaghan is not the Joker. Because, in my eyes, it would be a complete betrayal of this actor if he has done all this work of playing possibly one of the best live-action Jokers we've had so far, and he never actually becomes the Joker. But we have been assured that he will actually be... A different version of this. So now we've pretty much had confirmation from these images that Cameron Monaghan is actually going to be the Joker. Now there are a couple of ideas of who this could actually be because for all intents and purposes this is the Joker that we've seen in these images and well what we've got here is someone who is one not Jerome and two the Joker. So the question is, who who is it? That it's not Jerome. So the idea that it could be a twin, there is an idea that it could be a twin of Jerome, and he actually has been following the ideas of Jerome, following his career as a criminal, and he then ends up actually becoming the Joker. Now there is, I think that idea is not very good. I I think that would be a complete betrayal to the character. There is another idea where he could actually end up in the same toxic lake that Solomon Grundy ended up in because Solomon Grundy had the same kind of white skin or kind of very, very much lighter skin. He was undead, but again, that pretty much made him brain dead. Now, there are other ideas that he could be actually be a clone of this there are many, many ideas, and the fact that Jerome will be lead, or kind of with Penguin, creating a group of characters. So it seems like this season will be going out in a very, very big and spectacular fashion. Now, at the moment, there's no one who could actually really lead this group. Arguably, the Penguin and Jerome are, in my eyes, on equal footing. But, if there is a Joker, this will then actually lead to something bigger. 
and having the actual real Joker, that would be the perfect leader for this new group. This then leads into the War of Jokes and Riddles. So that would be very good if the Joker is leading his own super team against another super team of villains. The War of Jokes and Riddles is one of the best Batman stories I have ever read. It was this, or last summer's, Batman event. And I would highly recommend checking that out, mainly due to the fact of we've seen Kite Man. Hell yeah. So the question, which I haven't answered, is who could this actually be? So we've been assured that it is a surprising connection and it is someone in connection with Jerome. Personally, I think that he will actually morph into the Joker at some point and it will actually end up being something to do maybe with the Tetch virus or something like that. That will be a morphed version of Jerome because he won't be Jerome, he will be the Joker, arguably. However, that is it for this video. I will be doing a Krypton video as well. And let me know your thoughts on the Deadpool 2 trailer as well down below if you've seen it. I think it looks even better than the first one. Now there is one thing to consider in this is the fact that Jerome doesn't actually have any scars on his face. So this pretty much leads us to the idea that it could actually simply just be his twin. Which is not really the best way of introducing the Joker in my opinion. Because it's not really actually Jerome. And I would prefer him to evolve into the Joker. But that is it. I will see you soon. Please do like if you enjoyed the video. And also subscribe with notifications on if you want to see more. I'll see you soon. And goodbye.